Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Morris of Lawrence. I'm over here with Jason over at Pate's Performance. He just came by to hang out, you know. He needed some little tractor parts. I said, I got those here. Anyway, <laughs> a neighbor of mine down the street, I think he's in construction. I don't really know him very well, but I see his truck all the time. He notices me always on the driveway working on shit, right? So uh, he dropped this off and he says, can you take a look at it for me? Because when he starts it, it starts. When he's ready to mow, it stops. It happens a lot. And so I've never worked on a push mower, power mower engine from Zhongshen, never. So uh, other than the one that Jason gave me over there, that, that engine I was gonna, I was just gonna take it apart and see what's inside. <laughs> uh, that was on this. And as you guys can see, I'm not lying. I do do oil changes. <laughs> anyway, uh, right now uh, we were just bullshitting around and I said, let's start it and see what's wrong with it. So it's uh, choked, right? So, uh, and then we'll just pull it and see what happens. So I would say a quick and dirty on the carburetor would probably do that. Uh, the guy said he's never cleaned the carburetor. And I says, do you ever drain the gas before you store it for the winter? He goes, you have to do that. He says, you should do that. So over two, three years, whatever, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, 10% ethanol and gasoline, probably is gummed up in that area. All you need to do is drop the bowl, spray upward, spray all around, spray the holes, clean the, I don't even know if there is a jet bowl nut. So this is like a Honda style carburetor. So the jet is built up inside. So when that thing is clogged, it's clogged good. So you need to just run something right up the middle, right up the keister. Call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> right up the keister. I love it. Right up the keister. So it should be an easy job. I'll just do it really quick. If this gives me more trouble or headache that takes me more than half an hour to do this video, I'm going to throw it off the... Uh... Shit, we don't have any bridges around here. <laughs> throw it in the back of the golf cart. <laughs> and give it back. And sell the golf cart. <laughs> here, go do a free mower. You know, Sam and Leo messaged me about a free snowball at the Carbonarians, and I'm like, no. Who did? Sam and Leo. Oh yeah, Sam Sonotani. Yeah, or whatever. I don't know if he sent it to you. I says no, and I forgot to send it to you. I'm so I forgot. Oh, you know, but you were away. Like, oh. Better than most because you take on junk. I'm not saying you take on junk, but you take on projects. Oh, that's for sure. Like you see, James, he ripped apart a motor for a thing that smoked every so often. See, you guys say I don't do oil changes. Well, look, this isn't even on a video. So this is my first power mower push mower engine. I've only uh, worked on and taken apart four or five other um, 220cc um, power mower lawn tractor engines. All of them were blown and I just basically uh, used them for parts, you know what I'm saying? So looks like the air filter is very good, clean. probably 10 millimeter bolts to get this cover off three of them do I need to do that or should I just drop the bowl you guys should just drop the bowl huh do a quick and dirty first see if that'll work raise this a little bit higher it's probably a 10 millimeter anyway put a rag under there I'm gonna clamp off the fuel I'm gonna try doing a quick and dirty first got my 10 millimeter wrench ratchet Let's see the condition of this bowl. I'm gonna try to do it so that none of the stuff leaks out because I want to see what's in it. Oh, it's all leaking out. It's fine. Okay, here we go.
I don't even see it. What is it? Uh, it's not terrible, but it does have some crappy stuff in there, right? I'm gonna take the carb cleaner and spray upwards in the emulsion. the bowl now. Clean out the bowl. Pretty good. I'm going to release the hounds to see if it, um, yes it does, pouring fuel out. So there's nothing wrong with the fuel delivery. Well, should I just put the bowl back on or should I blow it some more? Blow it some more, Henry. There we go. That was the emulsion right there because it came out the mouth. Before I didn't, maybe I didn't get it, you know? Now it's flooded. That's okay. We want it clean. And the bowl uh, nut does not have a jet. You see there's a debris there? All right, that's pretty clean. Uh, this starts and runs, it's fixed. I'm gonna put the bowl back on. All right, we did a quick and dirty. Back on again. First time doing a quick and dirty on a power mower. Let's see. Oh, choke, right? It is choke. I might have flooded it, let's see. So it runs pretty good on choke, but when you put it to run, it surges and runs badly. Jason told me to take the idle jet screw out and clean it. I'm gonna do that. All right, we just cleaned out the uh, pilot jet area. It seemed pretty clean. Uh, I don't see any reason why this would run any different, you know? I didn't see any changes. Choke.
know what? I'm gonna take that whole carburetor off because I've never done it before. It's easy enough to take off. Might as well. Just three things. And then this thing should just slide off. The choke mechanism here has a thin one here. Turn this, this should lift up, just like that. It's very similar to a Kohler, actually. There's a gasket that goes there. I'm gonna pinch this off again. I'm gonna undo the uh, fuel line. See, this is not a quick and dirty that, I mean, look, it does run, <laughs> but on choke, which is not really supposed to, it's not supposed to be like that, you know? You're supposed to be able to take it off a choke and it runs smooth, which means that there's still something dirty in the carburetor a quick, that a quick and dirty probably can't get, you know? And this uh, clamp just is not releasing. line this comes out this seems to be very difficult oh man why is this in the way lower the height this bar goes down and then allows you to clear the bowl nut in which case you can then remove the z-bend just like that so that's removal of the carburetor right there it looks very similar to a honda or a kohler this carburetor especially the bottom part here is very similar to a honda it's interesting very interesting. I don't know. I'm going to take it apart again. I'm removing the main jet out of here. I was surprised to get it turned. This way we can check it out a little bit better. This is a more uh, comprehensive carb clean, you know, when you take out the main jet. Quick and dirty sometimes, you, you won't be able to do it, you know? There you go, main jet. Okay. Just remember how the orientation is. It came out this way, motion tube upwards. So these little jets here could have been clogged. And this is kind of grubby, you know? That could be it, maybe it's not. But either way, I'll blow them out. So I've got these torch tip cleaners. This is the smallest one. And when I first tried it, it was hard to get through so now I'm actually opening it up a bit smoother. So there was stuff on it, I guess, corrosion or whatever. I mean, this is like, it fits perfectly in this hole. I think that's pretty good. This one's gonna take a little bit more. I don't know how I'm gonna get um, these little tiny holes, super tiny. I actually have these torch tip cleaners that have the brush bristles on them so when you shove that in there it when it, you push it in pull it back out again it actually goes into the circles the little holes so let's uh let's plug this side with your finger stick this in there and see if you could see the uh fluid come out of the holes you do see pretty good too so they're not plugged it's good It's actually fun to do. All right, that's clean. <laughs> All right, I put everything back. 
So we've done a quick and dirty. We've taken the carburetor apart completely, taken the main jet out, cleaned everything. Let's give her a try now. Choke. The main jet, that's the only thing that we took apart that we didn't do before. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna give my neighbor its back and uh, it starts and runs great. Simple carburetor clean, quick and dirty, didn't do it, had to take it off clean the main jet. I got lucky. Usually those main jets are really stuck in there and you can't even get it out. You'll probably strip the main jet screw before you get it out. I was lucky. Got it out, cleaned it up, uh, made that hole bigger, you know, or at least cleaned it really well. Put it back, runs great. Thanks a lot for joining me on this Powermore Cub Cadet uh, carburetor clean. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye